be workable in city driving conditions. Volkswagen is taking the Jetta to the next level with a hybrid platform of its own that will work in both gasoline and TDI diesel versions. And just to whet appetites, the company showed off an electric concept of the latest version of the Beetle. The Audi part of the family is making a bid for our larger segment of the North American market with the Q3 Veil Edition crossover, aimed squarely at skiers with lots of disposable income. Another division of the brand, Bentley, premiered a new Continental V8 model for the Uber Ridge. The Dodge division of Chrysler is going with a throwback nameplate, the Dart, a highly customizable sedan using engine technology from parent company Fiat. No hybrids here. And in a sign of the times, the Maserati division of Fiat announced it will build a Kubang luxury SUV at a Chrysler plant in Michigan, giving a whole new meaning to the phrase imported from Detroit. But Ford is not about to let anyone upstage them on its home turf, so this was the perfect time to roll out a new version of the global platform Fusion, which will also come with a plug-in electric version. The rejuvenated Lincoln brand revealed a concept of the MKZ sedan that features a full glass roof. Don't be surprised to see this on the street in the future. But if you want next snapping performance from a Ford, then the new limited edition Shelby GT500 Super Snake will be just what the doctor ordered with a 750 horsepower engine. If you just want the Shelby nameplate without the raw power, then there's a V6 version available. Volvo thinks there's a sweet spot between performance and efficiency. To make the point, the company showed off a plug-in hybrid version of the XC60 that boasts a combined power rating of 350 horsepower. At the same time, the SUV would deliver up to 100 miles to the gallon when both electric and gas-powered systems work in tandem. This is Greg Morrison. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper tv at cs.com.